Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So, this might come as a shock to some of you because you're like, whoa, Sophia's doing a series on her channel? Again? Only because the Avatar series was what blew my channel up and got my channel to where it is now. So, it just felt right to watch this on my channel. Plus, it's a Netflix series, so it would be eight episodes, typically an hour-ish long each. Okay, two episodes per video, four videos. That is so doable. Unlike when I reviewed the anime series and it took like four months. We are so back guys. We are so back. So that being said, when I first found out that they were going to make another live action series, I was skeptical to say the least as were um, basically everyone on the internet. But the original writers were attached to it. So we had a little hope until they dropped out. I'll give it an initial chance. When the One Piece live action came out, I was like, this is gonna be so bad, come on. And then I watched it and I was like, hmm, why did I actually kind of enjoy that? <laughs> why was that kind of good? Mm, the plot was, the plot, the plot was so good. <laughs> so I don't know, maybe, maybe, Maybe it will surprise me. Also, I know that I first watched Avatar three years ago on my channel. This past month, I actually rewatched it, so it would be fresh in my mind when I, you know, watch the live action. So yeah, I wouldn't say I'm excited, but I am interested to see how it is. Let's go into this. Without further ado, let's get started on Avatar The Last Airbender. This is going to be episode one. Right, so so far so far they just skipped the um intro that katara narrates i'm not surprised they cut it out to be honest like it would be cool if like after this scene they do the narration but i don't really see them continuing the narration before every episode mm. comparing it to the live action movie the earth bending looks kind of good. They're not just throwing a small rock at someone. <laughs> that means all eyes will be on the earth kingdom. All eyes but ours. Is that the fire lord? No, no, it's not. Cause I remember they casted Daniel Day Kim as the fire lord. Oh wait, is this set in the past? This is like when the fire nation first started gaining power. Because it is our time. Oh shit. Oh! Mm. They did say they were gonna make a make it more mature. I didn't expect someone to burn alive. Not complaining, not complaining. Kinda into it. I'm not surprised they just they decided to do it in like chronological order, like starting from Aang becoming the Avatar up to the um present events when he gets found by Katara and Sokka. Water. <laughs> Kyoshi? How come Katara's not the one narrating? Air. Oh damn, they couldn't use like real people. They had to CGI the intro. Ooh, that was kind of sick. Avatar Kyoshi was kind of sick. The next master of all four elements, an airbender. He may not be ready for the responsibility of becoming the Avatar. I will give it its flowers. The CGI it's not bad. It's not the worst. I mean, the Avatar movie was so long ago, obviously the CGI was bad, but it was it was, it was kind of bad in general. You gotta give it to Netflix. Uh, the budget that they spend in like world building and like making things look like they should, like that, this, this looks good. I will say they popped off with the casting for Aang. When I first saw him, I was like, oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's Aang. Remember the last time I brought you here? Most received their markings in the main hall, but I wanted you to receive yours in the presence of Yang Chen, the last air nomad to be the Avatar. Wow, if that's not a hint that you're gonna be the next Avatar, I don't know what. You get the special treatment to get your tattoo in front of the last airbender that was the Avatar? Come on. You are the Avatar. I don't even know, <laughs> like, as a 12 year old, how are you supposed to process that information? I remember in the animated series, they planned on telling him when he was 16, but because the Fire Nation and everything, they told him early. But damn, the mental processing between 12 and 16 is so vastly different. You're not just anyone, man. You're strong and kind and generous. He is. I don't want the power. Which is why you will make a great avatar. So true. It's always the unwilling heroes 
who make great hero heroes. Can't I just keep pretending I'm your friend? What do you mean pretending? You are my friend. Yeah. I really love how they actually casted to the actual age of the characters in the anime series. It's like, yeah, you're constantly reminded that they are young, but sometimes you just kind of forget how young they are. So with the live action, yeah, that is a 12 year old. There's no mistaking them to be older or whatnot. Like, Aang is 12, clearly. Hey, Abba. <gasps> Okay, I was kind of worried that they would make Appa ugly or a little scary, but okay, yeah, he's a little cute. Could use a bath. Monks don't even trust me to feed the baby bison, and I'm supposed to save the world? He said I need to remember who I am. Okay, I approve. I don't want to leave. I don't want the responsibility. I'm scared of my power. I'm scared of being alone. Real. You're right. Just needs to go up where things always make more sense. At least for now. You can't! Mm. Oh, okay, so in this one, did they make it so that he didn't run away? He just kind of got lost in the thunderstorm? No survivors. Yikes. The one time Aang needs to go up and clear his head is when the Fire Nation attacks. Well, Aang has the worst timing. It's getting kind of rough, Papa. Maybe we should head back home. Ooh. The juxtaposition of the Fire Nation attacking the Air Temple and the storm that Aang is getting caught in. Nice imagery. I'm not sure if I like the change of Aang just like coincidentally not being at the Air Temple when this happens versus how in the anime series he chose to run away. His choice in running away is very critical to his character and like his reluctance to be the Avatar. It really... Um, hammers down on the fact that like he is only 12, he is a child with all this responsibility and it's just, it's overwhelming. With this, the change that they made, I don't know, it's like they watered down the seriousness. Oh, not the children. I mean, either way, the guilt that Aang is going to experience. That was kind of sick. I like the casting for Katara. From what I remember, the actress is actually Inuit, right? Which is, yeah, good on them for doing that. Uh, we don't want another, um, another occurrence of the movie. The fishing boats came back empty. Just proves if you want something done right, gotta do it yourself. Yeah, they just don't appreciate your incredible leadership skills. That's right, they don't realize it. <laughs> okay, he has the spirit of Sokka, the seriousness and the kind of goofiness, but it's too early to judge. You should be helping out more on the village anyway. Not everything is about preparing to fight. We're at war. Water bending is what built our culture. Keeping ourselves alive is our duty. I know that. If dad were here. But he's not here. I am. They seem to have cut out Sokka's uh, misogynistic comments. From like a writer's perspective, I understand why they decide to do that. But um, I liked his character development in the animated series where he's like, you know what? Yeah, girls can help themselves too. They can help, you know, obviously in like war and stuff. Oh. It's Zuko. I recognize that hairline every anywhere. Oh my gosh. So I watched Pen15, or I don't actually know how you pronounce the, the show's name. Penis, Pen15, whatever. When I found out that this actor was going to play Zuko, because he was also in that show, I was like, oh, hmm, I don't hate it. I'm not mad at it. Oh, he's just already standing. It is an entrance. Oh shit, oh, oh, he just fell. You're not thinking of leaving him. Katara, a strange glowy iceberg just exploded and left behind a mysterious little bald person. I don't like this, so why listen to me? I'm just responsible for the safety of the village. Well, you're not gonna help her put him in the boat? Yeah, in true Sokka fashion. This is an airbender. All right, I know that in the anime series, I was a big Katang shipper. I don't think I can do that anymore in this show because these are actual children. I don't feel comfortable doing that. Mm -mm. It's different when it was the anime series. For three years, I've chased down every hint, every rumor, every whisper of the Avatar. My father has banished me until I find the Avatar, and that's exactly what I'll do. Hmm. All I'm saying. I think Zuko needs a little edge to him. He needs that emo quality. The only type of bitterness that you can find in a teenager. <laughs> Wait, that looks so bad. Also, I feel like his scar could have been way worse. Like we literally saw a person get burned to death. Like they couldn't make the scar look a little more gruesome. He's 
he's not at all concerned that he's not near the air temple at all. What did I say about keeping your guard up? He could be the enemy. The enemy? I'm not the enemy. Then who are you? I mean, I mean. <laughs> Appa? Appa! Hey now, he didn't start out with that whistle. He got it from the market. I remember. A little detail. It's not, it literally does not even matter, but still. Mm -hmm. Appa's so cute. Ah. Sky Bison. Mm -hmm. Yeah, gotta say. Casting for Aang. On point. I love him already. Water, earth, fire, air. Long ago, the four nations lived here. Oh, okay. See, why is Katara not the one saying it? But when the world needed him most, he vanished. Oh, wow. It's word for word. I mean, I guess it makes sense that they would use the opening narration as exposition, but. Uh, I'm not mad at it. It's just kind of surprising. I honestly thought they were just going to cut it out completely. Airbenders haven't been seen in generations. And that the Southern Air Temple was the first to fall. Because you've been trapped in that ice this whole time. Oh, okay, Dutch angle. How come omens never take a summer with hot springs, huh? He's so tiny next to Katara. That's exactly why I can't do the Katang thing in this. The monks told me bending is about energy and balance. CGI is not terrible, considering water is so tricky to CGI too. You are the Avatar. When the world needed the Avatar the most, he vanished. Because he's a coward. He ran and people died. Well, he didn't run away on purpose in this one. Turn him over now or I'll burn this place to the ground. <laughs> okay, yeah. Um, I'm not very threatened by Zuko right now. Sokka, don't you see? He's the Avatar. And he lied to us about it. I know how hard this responsibility has been for you. He just woke up. And also he just found out that all the other airbenders are dead. And that this is a hundred years in the future. Like give him some give him some time. Ooh, okay, he got his stick. I'm Sokka, son of Akoda, Lord of uh Snow and Ice. <laughs> Let's sell this between us. You really need an army? I thought you firebenders had some guts. <laughs> Sokka's kind of crazy for this. Going against a firebender? Okay, Aang. Okay, yeah, let's see this. Oh, they kept Zuko's breakdancing moves. Oh, well, they all missed. Burn the whole place to the ground. No, I'll go with you. Just... Leave him alone. Yeah, I thought I was gonna see more of Aang fighting, but that's okay. It's okay, Katara. No one has ever fought for me before. I think you're the bravest person I've ever met. <laughs> Ooh, that delivery was a little flat, but I'll let it slide because this is a literal child. Okay, taking some liberties with his airbending. Katara, no. There's a no way you're getting me on that- <laughs> <laughs> the cut. We're bringing back that cheesy trope of like, oh, you're not gonna catch me doing that, and then the next scene is them doing it. The avatars. Hmm. I liked how Aang escaped in the animated series better when he just like airbended the guards into like the doors and stuff. I guess they didn't want they didn't really want to choreograph a whole escape scene for him. Stop him! They really just let him <laughs> escape. Like, they'd even try to stop him from jumping off. Ah! Oof. Ah! Oh, and then Aang redirects the fire into the mountain, and then their boat gets stuck. How's that gonna look? Oh. Oh, Katara does it this time? Oh, okay, she gets her little moment. Although I like the visual of the avalanche into the ship, but that's okay. I kind of get why they have to like cut things a little shorter just because, I don't know, time management and they want to keep the plot progressing. Let's go. Ugh. <laughs> I mean, I know that's what happens in the animated show, but. You are my friend. You will always be my friend. Oh, he pulls himself out of it? Hmm. I don't know if I agree with these changes that they're making. I liked it when Katara was the one that was able to pull him out of the Avatar state. I don't know. I'm not into it. I'm not into it. It's only after we've lost something that we realize how much it means to us. How we do anything to get it back. <laughs> wow. 
He was scribbling so furiously just for that picture of Aang. Oh, they kept the song. Alrighty, this is going to be episode two. Your notebook may have been useful in collecting your thoughts, but your unceasing effort is what led you to the Avatar. He ran! <laughs> <laughs> he had a little tantrum just now. Ever since he came into our lives, things have changed for me. Before I met him, I couldn't bend enough water to fill a thimble. And now look what I can do. And that's after a single day. Oh, I just realized they took out the whole struggle between Katara and Ram Graham about her learning to water bend. Like I said, it makes sense that they took it out for ease of plot. Katara! Oh, Momo! Damn, I totally forgot this is when they first meet Momo. Hey! Wow! Okay, yeah, that's pretty true to the character. That actually looks like Momo. What's this? <laughs> okay. They completely skipped the episode where they run into the, um, the pirates and find the scroll. Damn. It's kind of looking forward to seeing the pirates. Hmm. I'm kind of into the little title cards. Kind of clean. I can't get over Appa. I'm so glad they made Appa look cute. Zuko, you must try this. It's got quail pole egg. Quail pole egg. What are we doing here, uncle? Well, you need to eat. You must use your tact, your empathy. But most empathy. importantly, you need to have stinky rice. Okay, I'm kind of warming up to Zuko a little bit. At first I was like, oh. His acting isn't like the greatest. He's not like not emo enough. He's not, you know, so intense. But his interactions with Uncle Iroh, yeah, I, li I like that. <gasps> Ooh, Suki. Oh, he's the Avatar. There would have been signs if he was the Avatar. <laughs> Hello? Bro, <laughs> that was so goofy, please. <laughs> I don't know if I like that. I don't think I like that. We're not a threat. Maybe not, but the next visitors might be. We can't start making exceptions. Where I'm from, people help each other. <laughs> He's so cute. If I can learn to be the Avatar, maybe I could bring a place I know. A world where people were happier back. Is that gonna work? Seems very idealistic. And also coming from a child. I get it. I, I know why you wanted us off your island. I'd have done the same thing. It's a big responsibility, all these people's lives in your hands. Personally, I take that responsibility very seriously. I, uh, <laughs> I'm the guardian in my village, too. So. Ooh, okay. They kept Sokka as a yapper. A guardian. So how are you protecting your people if you're here? Oh, she got his ass. What? I'm not. I mean, I, I am. I, I may... I may not fizz... <laughs> Even Aang's laughing. <laughs> the point is, we have a lot in common. We're both warriors, right? They're just watching Sokka <laughs> try to riz up this Kyoshi warrior, please. The actress who plays Suki, she reminds me of a young Gemma Chan. And you are Prince Suko? What an honor. Oh, is this um Commander to our humble base? Damn, wait, which which commander is this? I'm sure we can track down what you need. Very kind. Uh, commander Xiao. Oh, okay, yeah, Commander Zhao. Oh, yeah, I was right. Okay, yeah, yeah. I just momentarily forgot his name. This actor looks mad familiar. Was he the bad guy in Rush Hour? Oh, okay, Suki. Oh, damn, Suki. <laughs> Don't stare. Ooh, okay, I like Katara's outfit. It's true to the animated series, but they did their own little flair to it. You know, you should be practicing too. Maybe later. I can't imagine what it's like knowing you'll have to save the world. Avoiding practice doesn't mean you'll avoid the responsibility. Ooh, get his ass, Katara. We'll do this together. We're not going anywhere. <laughs> Aww, kids being kids. Okay, cute. Oh my god! I totally forgot! He has his little groupies! Okay. What about the little the little spinny thing that he showed off? They should have kept that in. That would have been so funny and stupid. I understand why they took out the whole groupie thing though. Made it myself. It's great in combat and hunting and hunting. Yeah, hunting. <laughs> He's getting nervous yeah. around her. <laughs> Bro, you couldn't get out of a chokehold, please. <laughs> was that her way of flirting? Did you know she was an orphan? Lived on the streets until she was hired as a house girl for the richest family on the island. She was quiet and kind. No one had a clue she'd become the avatar. How'd she go from this to that? 
Oh, that's a fire painting. All the previous avatars are incarnations of your past lives. You are literally not alone. The other avatars are inside you. You want someone to teach you, you just need to figure out how to connect to them. Oh, so they also took out Fire Island, huh? Where Avatar Roku told him that? Damn. They took out a lot of stuff. Stop! Okay, I like these little small moments between Suki and Sokka. When they first met, um, Zuko attacked the village, so they didn't really have like enough one-on-one -on -one, like romantic time together. And then like their romance kind of blossomed when they met up again later on in the series. But yeah, no, I, I like this inclusion. It makes it feel a bit more natural with the way that their relationship will grow later on. Avatar Kiyoshi, help me. It's about time. Uh. Ooh. Oh wow, this effect is hurting my eyes. They said, let's put the stigmatism filter over this. There were times I thought I'd never find the avatar, but it's almost worse now that I know he's close because now the chance to go home is real. That makes sense. Imagine if this was happening like 50 years before Aang got discovered. Someone would have been searching for Aang for like that long and have no hope at all. So really, he's kind of lucky that he's in the right place and time. You're a great teacher. And you're an excellent student, though I'm sure you were helped by your previous training. You know, as your religious protector. Oh, I heard water. Is she taking off her makeup right now? Wow. <laughs> what makeup remover are you using, girl? Wow, she actually kind of looks like a mixture of the actress who plays Katara and Gemma Chan. She's really pretty. Like her and Katara, they're both they're both really pretty. Ooh. Yeah, they didn't kiss this early on. The bell. You hear it too? <laughs> you hear it too? <laughs> he thought it was sparks between them. That's why I need to master all the bending disciplines. He is so tiny. <laughs> well, I mean, I know Avatar Kyoshi is meant to be like massive, but <laughs> he's literally like half her size. Why is there such an emphasis on Avatar Kyoshi in the live action? Avatar Roku is the one who told him all, most of the information actually. I wonder why that is. You won't mind if we take a look ourselves. I expected as much. Oh shit. What if I hurt someone along the way? And how many have already been hurt because you haven't been here? Ooh. Run away from your responsibilities again, and even more will be hurt. Being the avatar means putting your duties above all else, even your life. Oh shit. It was like a mom scolding a child. And I will show you what will happen if you fail. Tragedy awaits the North. And unless you do something about it, another race of benders will be wiped out just as- Oh, was that a little sneak peek for the North Pole? Or the Northern Water Tribe? Okay, couple goals. I feel like that was- <laughs> Barely a threat, but okay. I'm getting through one way or another. What happens to you is your choice. So oh, she barely is able to make a little no, no, ball of water. No. I feel like that was just a splash. Oh shit, she saw that? I will show you what that power can do. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, this did not happen in the show. Okay, wait, this is kind of sick. Oh, wait, oh my god, wait, this is kind of sick. Okay, air, water, ooh, fire, where's the earth bending? Okay, yeah. Woo! Oh, yeah, hell yeah. Oh, yeah, that was awesome. Drastic change from the animated show, but that was great. I enjoyed that immensely. I like the soundtrack for the show so far. Very in line with the animated show. I wish we had more time. I do too. Wow, episode two and we already get an on-screen kiss. <gasps> and she gave him her fan. You're in, bro. Kiyoshi said I can only call upon one of the past avatars when I'm in the shrines. What else is she doing? Mm, okay. So, okay, Avatar Roku will probably show up. Are they going to Fire Island or not? If your highness had been more forthcoming earlier, we might have avoided this misunderstanding. I hope we can put this behind us. Don't tell anyone. 
The way he said that was kind of funny. Mm, he's pleading. And if you'll permit me, working together, we'd be able to devote twice as many resources to the hunt. Oh, they watered down Commander Zhao's character. He wanted it all for himself. To your supreme eminence, the great flame of the world. I mean, yeah, I guess he is bamboozling him. I have news for you of a critical nature. I have witnessed these events with my very eyes. That is why I can report an astounding development, one that could change the future of the Fire Nation. Wow, he said all of that in that tiny paper? Oh, there he is, Daniel Day Kim. Fire casting choice. When I read that he was gonna be the Fire Lord, I was like, all right, pop off. Alrighty. So those were the first two episodes of Avatar The Last Airbender live action, Netflix live action. What do I think? Okay, so I don't know if this is an unpopular opinion. I don't mind it so far. Damn, that scene with Avatar Kyoshi, that was a f fire scene. I want more of that. CGI is not bad. Obviously, they changed quite a bit of things. There are some things I don't agree with. Okay, so here's my thing. I did find myself zoning out a lot when I was watching this. When I watched the One Piece live action, I fully went into watching that thinking it was going to be ass. Like there's no way a live action One Piece was going to be good. Surprisingly, it got me hooked. From the first episode, I was like, I need to keep watching. There was something about that show that kept me going. It made me want to binge that show really badly. Not because, not because. Not because a certain actor was really hot in it, no. Well, kind of. But the show was just so fucking goofy. It was so absurd to me. The CGI choices, the acting choices, the camera angles, and everything. I don't know, it was- it made me laugh and it kept my attention. That's kind of a good sign for a show. But the thing about Avatar is that obviously the writers, the producers wanted to make this live action series more serious. They wanted to show what's more at stake. It's just that when they want to go the serious route and then they try to put like a little humor into it, sometimes it just kind of falls flat. So I found myself not enjoying it as much as I did in the animated series. Another thing is that I think the advantage that the animated series has is that with like multiple episodes we get to travel with these characters we see their character development we see their thought processes how they interact with each other with the limitations of a netflix series you have to condense it all into eight episodes so they're really kind of just speeding through their travels and you know the plot arcs and stuff i feel like we don't really spend as much with each character and so i feel like i'm not as invested into this show as i should be that's just my take on it obviously it's literally just the first two episodes so my opinion could change but that's where i'm at right now like i said it's not the worst i just know that if i was just watching this on my own like on my own time i would just watch it casually like when i'm eating but i wouldn't really get myself to rush to binge it let me know your thoughts about the first episodes just the first two episodes if you enjoyed the video, please give me a like, leave a comment down below, subscribe if you want, and I'll see you for the next installment of Avatar The Last Airbender.